What will the future of the COVID-19 pandemic and other infectious threats look like? How will vaccine distribution, trust in science and economic priorities impact the pandemic and our preparedness for future infectious threats? Will everyone benefit from technological and scientific progress and healthcare innovations while responding to a global climate crisis? Will we take the collective action needed as a global community? Will humanity work together as one? Through collaboration, focus, determination, community empowerment and hard work, humanity was able to manage the pandemic. Annual booster shots, combined with vaccinations for the flu, ensure that mortality rate from COVID-19 is very small and no higher than the mortality rate of other pathogens. In 2024, the WHO helped prevent the outbreak of another novel coronavirus in Eastern Europe quickly containing the outbreak and preventing international spread. In 2025, the second generation of vaccines managed to completely contain virus transmission. Other vaccines delivered in pill form further enabled enhanced distribution, reach and affordability. False information about the pandemic is effectively countered and nations and healthcare organisations operate based on coordinated common truth campaigns with consistent scientific messaging and guidance. None of the progress that was made following the COVID-19 outbreak would have been possible without a spirit of science-driven decision-making and strategic collaboration between nations worldwide. The virus remains, and it's evolving. Humanity has gradually learned to live with the virus, yet still clings to pre-pandemic behaviours and approaches. New variants appear frequently, which the first generation of vaccines are ineffective against. Through constant testing and continually updated vaccines, the WHO and some countries managed to prevent several additional pandemic waves. But affordability and reliability of rapid tests are still an issue. Trust in governments and public institutions varies across the world. Some attribute the protracted nature of the pandemic solely to the inability of their leaders to make rapid, informed and inclusive decisions. The boundaries between digital and physical environments are blurred, with hybrid ways of working, meeting and learning now the norm. Nations are still heavily reliant on fossil fuels, and deforestation prevention has not met the desired targets. The COVID-19 pandemic is not over, and the virus has evolved, becoming even more infectious. New, more threatening variants emerge frequently, leaving vaccine manufacturers struggling to keep up. Long COVID-19 symptoms are the norm for almost everyone who gets infected, putting a significant strain on economies, productivity and healthcare systems. Each nation focuses their efforts on different fronts, some focus on measures to inform and educate the public in efforts to reduce transmission, while others focus on reopening their economy, barely able to support their overburdened health systems. Vaccines are the only treatment and prevention option, but access to them depends on the region and country. A large part of the global population is still unvaccinated, with vaccine nationalism and vaccine distribution bias against some minority groups on the rise. The world is suffering from the lack of a unified front to battle the worsening climate emergency. The WHO and the UN are no longer a forum of transparent discussion and collaboration. In addition to a worsening COVID-19 pandemic, a Zika-like vector-borne virus carried by mosquitoes spreads throughout the world. Nations struggle to establish public health measures that do not contradict each other. There is widespread confusion and conflicting priorities about what to do to protect from COVID-19 and the new virus. Given the inability of governments to inform, 
People turn to those who would provide reassurance during the double pandemic. Trust in society and science has never been lower. Due to intense border restrictions, the aviation and tourism industries have collapsed. People abandon towns in areas with high mosquito density and move to other areas, causing a strain on infrastructure. Healthcare systems, affected by rising cases, backlogs and staff shortages, find it nearly impossible to cope. Those with higher incomes can afford better care at better staffed facilities. Overall, environmental degradation is accelerating. Species go extinct, and those who survive will be the carriers for the next pandemic. So, what will the next five years look like? Will we be able to build consensus as a global community? Can we take the collective action needed to mitigate the ongoing risks of COVID-19? Will we be prepared for future infectious threats? What world would you like to live in?